Nat's back in the kitchen. You guys seem to really like my baking videos. I asked you guys to give me suggestions on Instagram and all of them were like baking, baking videos, making stuff, all of that. <laughs> Got a surprise for you guys. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I got a KitchenAid stand mixer. Need the little bowl for it. Oh, you guys can't see. I'm making a video of me like shopping online and stuff like that. And this was one of the things that I bought online. I haven't posted the video because half my stuff just hasn't came. Boring. You about to see a lot of baking videos now. I've baked so much ever since I got it. It's like every single day since I got it, I've been making stuff. But today's recipe in particular is I'm making a cake, a two layered cake. So I was planning on making a tres leches cake just because I don't know, that seems like something fun to do. And my neighbor actually gave me like a whole recipe for it. And I was like, I'm gonna do that. But I think it'd be a little bit more interesting if I did like a layered cake, you know. I bought these two pans when I went to Walmart. So I had to get the squares because everybody had already bought the circles. I guess everyone's baking right now. So I was like, all right, bet, I'll make squares. Measuring cups to replace the old one because I got more. I'm gonna have to put you guys in an angle where you can see me and hopefully a little bit more of the KitchenAid mixer, which I don't know if that's possible, but I'll bring my tripod and try to put you guys a little bit more back. But for the flavors, in case any of you guys thought I was gonna make this from scratch, that was the plan. Except, I went swimming yesterday, so I was like talking to my neighbor and stuff, and she told me that basically box cake can be really good if you substitute the oil for butter and the water for milk and it tastes more homemade so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try that out and it's just faster we're gonna use this one but if one box is not enough to fill up the two pans then don't worry i got more so you got angel food funfetti god damn it confetti which is the same thing as funfetti i'm pretty sure carrot cake strawberry cake i think we're gonna have to change it up because i think if we make red velvet it's gonna need cream cheese frosting but i don't have any cream cheese so we're changing the flavor to strawberry. Also, I made cookies yesterday, my like secret, secret oatmeal cookie recipe. The best oatmeal cookies ever. Maybe one day I'll share the recipe with you guys, but I'm gonna put my paddle in there. I'm a KitchenAid expert at this point. I'm gonna get my tripod, be right back. That's better. Now you guys can actually see my mixer. I'm a KitchenAid expert at this point. Now you guys can actually see my mixer. I don't really know how like it works. I'm guessing that you were to cream the butter and then put like the eggs and then add this and then the milk. Big brain. Asks for, so it's half a cup of, it's equivalent to half, to one, which is the that you, um, you. One stick of butter, um, it's not softened, so I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I ain't got time to wait. Butter's pretty soft now if I put my stick of butter. My handy dandy Christmas spatula. Cream this. I'm gonna make this fluff. See, I even use the terms now. I'm a KitchenAid expert at this point. And then, we scrape the bowl, cream it a little bit more. That's done. So, three eggs. Put these master egg cracking skills. Ready? My phone's ringing. Not my phone, but the house phone. But no one ever answers that phone. My phone's ringing. Not my phone, but the house phone. But no one ever answers that phone. So if you're one of my family members and you call that phone, you'll never get her answered. Like ever. I don't know why my mom still has it. There, we cream the eggs. Everything's stuck at the bottom. Are you kidding me? I think the eggs and the butter were too different. Were too different. bad throwing away a whole stick of butter and three eggs. Nah, we're not throwing it away. We are not food wasters. Now is where we add this. What the heck? So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. So I'm gonna add half of that. And then it says a cup of water, but since we're substituting the water for the milk, so one cup of milk. So I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit more of this. It looks pink. 
and it smells good. So I think it's worth a little bit more of that, a little bit more of this. KitchenAid just kind of does all the work for me. Like, makes lazy people into lazier people. It came a little bit more of this. Rest of the milk. The rest of this. That's pretty good to me. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl like the chef I am. I'm gonna beat this a little bit more. I have an uñero. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like when a piece of skin is boring. This is done. I'm gonna take everything off the paddle because we're not about to waste any batter. I'm still kind of shook that thing fell in there. Too dirty here. The good thing is that it wasn't dirty, so I mean, and I wasn't about to waste three whole eggs and a stick of butter for that. I'm done. Well, not with the cake, but I moved everything out of the way and then I washed these. I took the paper off the bottom and then I washed them. Here is like my batter. I'm gonna use my cooking spray, my oil, cooking oil, nonstick, whatever. Flour. All over the pan. Alright, that one's done. Now this one. Alright, both my pans are done now. I have hella oil on my hands now. I don't exactly know how I'm going to divide them separately, like equally. So, I'm going to just guesstimate. Alright, I need to keep in mind it's going to grow. So, I don't think I want to put too much batter in. Mm, yeah, no, that's way too little batter. Guys, I think I'm going to have to make a whole other batch. That's not good. I didn't want to make another batch. Actually, hmm. well, they're just gonna be thin, very thinly. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. it is. Guys, they're they're gonna be very thin layers, which I'm not too happy about. But I mean, it, it whatever. My layers they look a little thin. So this is the first one, and that's the second one. So they're really, really, really thin. I'm gonna try to even them out, but they just. Popping this in the oven for like 15 minutes. All right, timer's up. I actually ended up putting another five minutes. But there are the cakes, so they're done. They're getting golden brown on the sides, which means they're done. So let me stop the oven. They went, oh my God, they actually inflated a lot more than I thought they were. Or they, they rose. All right, here's the other one. Wait, I just remembered I'm gonna have to level them, so they're gonna be small anyways. All right, we're gonna let them cool for like 20 minutes or so. And then I'll be back. Guess who's back? I put on other shorts. It's been probably like four hours or maybe three. I took the bowl from the KitchenAid mixer and I put it in the freezer so I could make the whipped cream that I'm gonna put. And then my cakes have completely cooled and I have these. It says happy birthday on it. It's no one's birthday. There just wasn't other designs. This is where I'm gonna lay the cake. If I can get this open. All right, so I'm gonna use this one. That's where I'm gonna set my cake. Where are my cakes? Eight. This one's pretty flattened out already. This one's a little bumpy, so I'm gonna have to level that a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna just... Yes, my hands are clean. I'm dragging my knife through the sides. The cake might be a little stuck. Oh no. Guys, I think we're gonna have a problem here. Got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ha. Look at this. I thought I put like the nonstick stuff. All right, actually, I don't know why I'm setting up the cakes without having the icing done. Am I dumb? I'm a semi, semi mini pro. I'm not saying I'm a pro, but I'm a semi mini pro at making icings. Just saying. Heavy whipping cream. Oh my God, that is so cold. <sighs> I think I should put it in the fridge, not in the freezer. Put my mixing bowl in the freezer. Now it's really cold. Cause I read somewhere that you need to put your bowl in the freezer so your whipping cream won't like go bad or whatever. I haven't even used this. I bought this the other day, like specifically for this. So I'm gonna put my whipping cream in here. I think that should be enough. Actually, let's put a little bit. My whipping attachment, which is this one. I never used this attachment actually, and I think I don't know if I put the sugar in now or if I put it in after. And I'm gonna just put it in now. I'm gonna just guesstimate the amount of sugar I'm gonna put. That should be fine. All right, and you whip. This actually takes like a really long time. I remember when I would do this by hand, like with the hand mixer. Hell no. This took forever. Alright, I'm gonna take the cake out. See, this one came out perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. I don't know why the other one couldn't have done that. They're a little not level. Dang, that is not level at all. This is looking good. Look at this. I think I have to level this a little bit. Alright. It's actually looking really good. I think it's done. 
it done to me. All right, I'm gonna scrape it and see if it's good or not. Okay, to start, that has no sugar. So I'm gonna put in some sugar, put that back down, whip it for a little bit. Still needs more sugar. That should be done now. Perfect, now that this is perfect, we're actually gonna assemble the cake. This is me, this is me leveling a super thin cake. Pretty level to me. I'm gonna figure out how I can put you guys so you can see me icing the cake and you can see me. Come up with this. Hold up. Look at my invention. Perfect. That way you guys can see me and the cake. Perfect. My whipped cream. This is like done. See, it's like, it's done. This right here is gonna be my tool for frosting. You know that other little knife people used to frost? I'll put a picture right here. See, I couldn't find that anywhere, so we're improvising. So we're using this. You probably can't tell, but it's just this little thing. I'm pretty sure you use this to serve the cake, but I mean, it works for both purposes. Whatever. All right, so we put the frosting and you frost. Like this. I think. Why am I even wasting it on the top? I'm gonna put the other cake anyways, all right? Dude, I'm just like a professional froster at this point. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my god. I'm just like a professional froster at this point. <gasps> Maybe you should get a turning table. I just thinking my cake is not perfect though. <laughs> <laughs> I already know one of my haters in this house is gonna give me crap for it. All right, let me show you guys the first layer. Have you guys ever seen a cake this perfect though? Are you kidding me? Look how perfect that is. Gorgeous. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. Next layer. Do you guys see how it's a little bit, a uh, little bit fat? Screw it and just leave it like that? I think so. You know, there's always has to be some type of, you know, tip to it. So, all right, let's make sure it's centered. Perfect. See, imagine if it didn't have this little, have this little, it wouldn't be cute. So we're leaving it. Okay, we'll do these on top. Look at how pretty. That just made the cake like 10 times better. I'm literally like, I should just make my own bakery. I'm gonna put the little stars on the sides. God, look at my cake. Look at my beautiful cake, guys. It's a masterpiece, look. It's perfect. All right, let's try this, shall we? All right, it's time. I really want to try it. All right, let's cut like this. Wait, is that the first layer? Okay. Wait, I don't have a plate. All right, got a plate. <gasps> oh, look at that. Just give me the title. I'm Chef Nat. I so am. So presentation, 1,000 out of 10. Ooh. That's so good. So I'm gonna close off the video here. If you would like me to do more baking videos since we already established the fact that I'm Chef Nat, let me know what I should do down below. And any other video ideas, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.